Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Friday. Um, I am coming off the back of the live masterclass that we had earlier in the week, and it was epic. It was like literally so amazing. All of the attendees uh, were so engaged, and the energy uh, on on the masterclass was was amazing. And so I thank you for all of you who attended live. Uh, I had a complete technology blip up and I didn't end up recording it. And I'm so disappointed because it was amazing. And so guys, just so you know, if you weren't able to attend live, I am going to be holding an encore. I'm just trying to work out when I can fit it on my calendar. And so don't worry if you weren't able to join us live for that one. Uh, definitely we're going to, you know, keep an eye out and make sure you come live to the next one. Now, not here to talk about that today, but I'm wondering if you guys have ever wondered about the effectiveness of lithianine or GABA for ADHD. So if you have, um, drop me a yes in the comments below, um, because that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Now, earlier this week, someone asked me specifically about these, and I know it's something that I've been asked many times before, so I really wanted to hop on here and answer it publicly so that anyone else who is wondering can know as well. Now, before we jump in, um, can you share with me guys, like a little bit about you? I love finding out uh, where you're located, how many children you have, uh, maybe your first name. I'm, obviously, I'll see your first name when you when you drop that below, but I'm, I'm Dana Kay. I live in uh, I was going to say sunny Seattle. It is definitely not sunny today. Um, I live in Seattle, Washington. I'm a board certified holistic health and nutrition practitioner, but also I'm a mom of a son with ADHD. So I definitely know how hard it can be to sift through all the potential supplements and other treatments options that are out there. So have you guys ever felt overwhelmed by the vast array of ADHD treatment options? Yep. Definitely, I have for sure back in the day. Um, and if you can relate, definitely give me a little hands up in the comments below. Um, I felt like that years ago when I first started my journey with my son. Now, like I said, I'm an ADHD health practitioner and I specialize working with families all across the USA with ADHD, learn how to naturally reduce ADHD symptoms. And my goal is to make it easier on you guys than it was on me. Seriously, that's all I want to do. Um, I don't want anyone else to feel as overwhelmed as I did years ago. And that's why I'm hopping on today to answer this question about lithianine and GABA. So let's dive in. Now, for any of you who aren't familiar with lithianine. It's an amino acid that is found in green, black, and white teas. Uh, plus can be taken in supplement form and it has relaxing properties without making you feel drowsy. Now it can help um, make you feel calmer. It in can improve attention span and focus and it can support restful sleep. It can also help protect the heart and brain plus help reduce blood pressure and reduce symptoms of schizophrenia. Now the best way to obtain lithianine is to drink several cups of quality green tea and other teas every day. Now I will say that it's really important that you have quality Hi, Michaela, Montreal, Canada. Hi, Heather. Thanks for tuning in live. Um, so when you are buying green tea, make sure that you do have quality organic green tea. Now, lithianine is safe when taken in supplement form, but will reduce effects of blood pressure medications and stimulants. So always be sure to talk with your doctor before starting any new supplementation. Now, GABA um, is also a calming neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, and it plays a role in the body's ability to handle stress. And it also affects focus and concentration. Now, these two supplements by themselves can be very helpful for some people because I especially love it when they're combined because they com they provide that calming effect without causing a person to feel drowsy. And we know a lot of our kiddos need that calming effect a lot of the time. Um, so my absolute favorite formation is called Calming Thrive. And I'm going to pop a link to that in the comments. So be on the lookout for that when the live's over. Something I use, um, sometimes I use this particular supplement as part of my protocols, uh, especially when I see when GABA's low uh, or we have a lot of, you know, sort of overactive symptoms and we really need to calm them down. Um, and I love it for a few reasons. One, it contains both GABA and lithanin. 
Two, it comes in an easy to use liquid, which is perfect for our kiddos who can't swallow pills. And three is I also love it because since it's taken by mouth and held in the mouth for 30 seconds before swallowing, it has rapid absorption into the body, providing that calm, that focus and that concentration really quickly. Now, those of you who have heard me uh, before know that um, what I'm getting ready to say, and I said it the other night in my live um, masterclass, but for any of you new here, I want to add that you should always start with food because you can't supplement your way out of a poor diet. Uh, food is always our first medicine. Uh, we go there first to try and improve the state of the gut um, and the brain, the gut brain connection. And then once the dietary changes are made, that's when I might discuss supplementation or I might do it in consultation with each other. So like at the same time, you know, Calming Thrive can be really good to help while we're making those changes. So um, I'm going to pop also for anyone that's new here, a link to my free masterclass where I go into more detail about those dietary changes I recommend. So be sure to check that out um, if you're just getting started. Now back to supplementation. Uh, supplementation should definitely be tailored to each individual in order to address specific healing opportunities to provide support to each individual body. Now, some children are helped by supplements that are targeting certain, you know, minerals and vitamins, but other children actually see no effects whatsoever and sometimes even see negative effects. Many of the families I work with want a more targeted approach to healing their kids' underlying stresses in their body. They don't want to just sort of add random supplements that their children may or may not need. What I do say is it ends up in a lot of expensive poop <laughs> because if they don't need them, it just goes out the other end and literally just comes out in poop. Um, so I do talk a lot about poop, uh, especially in my closed group because, you know, we are focusing a lot on the gut and what comes out. Um, so my families, you know, start by doing functional lab testing and then when they get the results back um, and see what specific stresses their child's body is having, we can target supplementation to fit them specifically. Now, I don't want to go into a ton of details on that right now, but again, I'm going to pop a link to the lab testing video in the comment section. So check that out if you're interested in learning more. So I've said a lot today, but in summary, GABA and lithionine, especially when combined in this formula, can be a great support to our kids with ADHD, but this can never be the be all and end all solution. Food is critical. It's a definite critical piece of the puzzle and so are other natural supports, which I did share in my live masterclass uh, this Tuesday, which I hope to do another one and I'm so disappointed that it wasn't recorded. Um, but I hope this answers that question. But I also understand that there was a ton of information out there or there is a ton of information out there on how to help a child with ADHD and I want to offer anyone listening, um, uh, you know, always a clearer, you know, picture of what's going on in their child. So we definitely open up our calendar, me and my team, um, so that we can talk with you guys about what we can do to get some ideas on how to help reduce your child's ADHD symptoms naturally because every child is different and these calls are 100% free with no strings attached. So guys, that is it for today. Um, if you've got any questions whatsoever about GABA, lithionine, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm also going to drop those links to the masterclass and I drop the link to our calendar. Um, and uh, if you've got any other questions, I'd be happy to help. So uh, something else pops up, drop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help, but I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care.